Hey everyone, Jordan Budd here with Rockslide, and today I just want to do a quick review on the Base Map app. It's basically a uh, mapping app that is on your phone that you can download maps. It shows landowner information, a lot like Onyx, which everybody knows about Onyx. But there's some things that I like better about Base Map than on Onyx, and there's some things that uh, I kind of liked Onyx a little bit better for. I used both of them side by side when I was in. Arizona on my elk hunt. So I'm just gonna go through a few things um, on base map that I really like and a couple of things that I don't really like. So one of the things I really like about base map is their pricing that they put on all this. It's basically $29.99 for the entire year for all the states. Um, you have unlimited offline maps, location sharing, you have the 3D earth, you have all the landowner boundaries and information, you have like the unit boundaries and all that for every state for every species um, so all that comes included and it's only I mean 30 bucks a year that's that's super cheap Onyx does the same thing but for all their states it's a hundred dollars a year 99.99 and then um, you can also do the 29.99 package but it's for one state only another big positive for me was Base map lets you download for offline maps they let you download a very large area instead of such a small area and they also download really fast. Um, it definitely downloaded quicker than Onyx. I wasn't using Wi-Fi when I was downloading those. I was just using uh, the service that we had around, but I could down download a, a larger area and I could do it quicker in base map than I could in Onyx. Some things that I didn't like about the base map app, the Google imagery when you were just looking straight over the ground and even when I would um, tilt it, uh, the shading seemed off for me. So like when there should have been a, a, when I knew that there was a ridge there, the shading on the app actually looked like there was a valley. It just took me a, a little while to, when I knew that there was a valley there, it looked like a ridge and it kind of threw me off a little bit. It took me a little while to, to kind of get used to that shading, but I was always double guessing myself. The new 3D tilt, I haven't run into that problem at all. I can I can usually always tell, I mean, it's just like you're looking like with Google Maps on your phone um, with the, the 3D tilt is really what it is. So that was just one thing that kind of threw me and I know that the Onyx didn't do that. And then the other thing with the Onyx is it seemed like it would mark known roads and peaks better, especially the peaks. There was um, a certain peak that we were trying to go to and some of the guys that I was with had Onyx and then I had the base map app and I couldn't get my base map app. I messed with the layers and stuff a little bit and I couldn't get that app to show that specific peak. And then Onyx seemed to label roads a little bit better. Um, after, with that issue, after messing around, um, I go to layers and then Google imagery with roads and such named and it'll kind of mark the roads a little bit better. Um, but I didn't think when I was in Arizona that it was um, better than Onyx. I don't use land ownership and like BLM and national forest boundaries a lot just because typically I'm usually in the national forest and in wilderness areas and, and such so I don't use that feature a ton but everything around here has been um, accurate as far as where the the boundaries are. One thing with the land ownership boundaries and, and such to keep in mind, around here anyway, there's some places where the fences don't actually follow the boundary markers, whether it's like terrain that you couldn't really build a fence over and you had to go around it or whatever. So just keep that in mind, like there's some places around here where the fence, the boundary fence actually isn't where the land description says it is, but um, we know that the land descriptions are true and the app follows that. So I don't know, that might be kind of a, a sticky situation that you could get yourself in with a landowner and another landowner is, you know, some of the fences don't follow those descriptions. So keep that in mind, but I do know um, kind of the specific place that I'm talking about here. This app does follow those land descriptions, um, just the fence doesn't. So I don't know, that's just a little thing little tidbit to keep in mind but you click on the the land ownership and it'll bring up a bunch of stuff um, for us right now it just shows our city and our state um, has my dad's name on it for that particular parcel it gives you how many acres it is and then they also 
have an address on here. Um, it just shows ours as unknown. I am super impressed with base map. It hasn't been around very long at all as like compared to something like Onyx. So I only, I think that it's gonna definitely continue to grow and get better. Um, that 3D Google tilt for me just like takes it to another level. Um, that right now it's January 2019. They just released it. It's only available on iOS systems. So basically anybody that has an iPhone or an iPad. As far as the interface for the app, I'm using an iPhone. It's pretty simple to use. I mean, you just have some, there's not a lot of bells and whistles and a lot of things that you can change, um, which is good. I think it's, it's really basic. It's easy to use. To try base map out, um, I'll have a link in the description that you can click on and it'll take you right to it. But they also offer like a basic package that lets you download one offline map, um, does basic GPS trackings, lets you do some markers. So you can do some basic things with it, but you're gonna have to go to the pro, which is either, I think it's five bucks a month or you just pay $30 for the whole year. Um, that's what I would do. Pay 30 bucks for the whole year, have all the states on there. And uh, I just think it's, uh, 30 bucks for all the states and all the land ownership information and the 3D tilt and being able to save those offline maps um, and then kind of integrate it, bounce it between your computer. Um, that's pretty pretty dang hard to beat. That's a good bang for your buck. And I, uh, I'm looking forward to using Base Map this year.